So the Lord said, Nigeria, he called it a city here. He said, Nigeria is a city of blood and war. And God said that to me because of the, the past that I, I knew of Nigeria, as I told you, of massacre and bloodshed. It is the nation of bloodshed. Oh, it is it is the nation of bloodshed. Nobody should deny that. Even the Nigerians themselves know that their nation has been has had this history of bloodshed throughout the years. I think maybe in recent days or a year or something. I haven't been hearing anything, but yeah, people are being killed. People have been killed. Hello, beloved. Welcome back to Patreon Attorney. I brought you an interesting video from Gabriel. Peter, and this is what the man of God has for the nation of Nigeria, what God has instructed him to tell the people of Nigeria. As you all know, there have been a lot of killings in the north, and this is what God has revealed to him concerning the killings, the Boko Harams, and so on and so forth in Nigeria, the bandits, so on and so forth. I'm not going to talk much at this point. I'm going to let you watch the video so that you hear what the man of God has to say. Guys, here is the video. He called it a city here. He said, Nigeria is a city of blood and war. And God said that to me because of the, the past that I, I knew of Nigeria, as I told you, of massacre and bloodshed. It, it is the nation of bloodshed. Oh, it, is, it is the nation of bloodshed. Nobody should deny that. Even the Nigerians themselves know that their nation has been, has had this history of bloodshed throughout the years i think maybe in recent days or a year or something i haven't been hearing anything but yeah people are being killed people have been killed so this is this this is the history and god was telling me about what was coming this is why he said it is a city of blood and war this is this is the brand that god has given to nigeria this is how nigeria is branded before the lord in the spirit realm and God continued, he went on saying, he told me bandits will bomb peaceful homes and distress the whole nation. That's the first thing. And um, I, I knew what he was saying. So he was telling me that in the future, Nigeria is going to experience terrorism at its greatest height, um, murder, and the peace will be taken away from people's lives, from the Nigerians, um, because bandits will be invading places, uh, ter terrorists, these terrorists will be invading places, villages, and they will, they will bomb houses, they will wreck homes, kill people. And then what will be left is no peace no comfort fear turmoil the lord told me the country nigeria will sink in sudden upheaval he said there will be no peace but restlessness and terror this will be circulating in the whole nation the nation will have no peace after hearing uh, one death after another one massacre after another one invasion um one um, abductions and things like that the Boko Haram invading places stealing or killing people shedding blood obviously you will not have peace so these are the words of the Lord when he spoke to me I had written some of them so here God was speaking does says the Lord to that country that is in the Western region of Africa this is what the Lord says you have shed a lot of innocent blood innocent children were killed in the midst of your of your boundary women were bereaved of their children therefore blood will be your portion the shedding of blood will ever be before your eyes your people will witness cruel murder and atrocious cruelties done to their loved ones you will call but no one will come to your aid for you have wrought evil all your life till my vengeance will come upon you for the blood you have shed the blood of innocent people i shall not rest until i fill your cup of 
of murder with blood, that I may usher my judgment upon you and your land and your people who have wrought this great evil upon you. I will judge all unrighteous nations and all that shed innocent blood. So here God was stressing about the crimes of, I would say, Nigeria. And you may not be participating in this. Of course, I know there not everyone in Nigeria is killing, not everyone is guilty, but the guilt is because of the the murder of the bloodshed, the, the innocent blood that has been shed. Uh, that is in the soil. That is in the soil right now, which is uh, crying out for justice, justice, justice. And at the same time, I should tell you, brothers and sisters, that uh, the bloodshed, the blood that, has, that was shed, okay, raised altars for the devil, raised altars for entities that are constantly so guys you are heard what the man of god has said concerning the nation of nigeria concerning the killing in nigeria what god has revealed to him what he says that he should tell the people of nigeria i'm not going to really say anything much but what i could say is that we all know what he's saying is true because there have been a lot of killing in the northern part of nigeria in the middle bits of nigeria like even some other east and west they have experienced some bandits and all that but majority of it lies in the northern part of nigeria as you all know kaduna kano uh, like joss and all that villages benue and all that lafia if you're not being killed by boko haram or bandits like it's from one problem to another in nigeria it's as if there is a demon in nigeria that wants to suck blood every single hour or every single minute that passes by there is a demon that wants human beings to be killed for it and this is what god has revealed to his servants to tell the people of nigeria as you all know a lot have happened in nigeria from december down to this january a lot of people have lost their life a lot of community in the northern part of nigeria has lost their life i said it in my previous video to the point there's a video i watched that i won't say that it's it's so disturbing you could see that the village was just stumbled upon that village and they killed a whole lot of people there was a baby at its mother's back and the mother is already dead and gone it was when the soldiers and some rescue team went into the village they were able to remove the baby from the cops back like the mother is dead already so the baby was crying i could imagine like if this child gets to stumble upon this video in the future because they say the internet never forgets that video will be somewhere some there somewhere one day that child will come across it what do you think will trigger in that child's mind Oh, these people that did this, I'm going to like all those things. Oh, I want to seek revenge for my mother. I want to seek for my father, for my siblings, for my, like all those things. About 20 something people were killed in that community on the spot. And it seems like our government are not really doing anything when it comes to Boko Haram's and bandits. Honestly, because it's no longer safe for us. You can't even move within Nigeria. You can't move within one state to another without being so scared for your life. It wasn't like that in those days, but now it's like it's getting worse. Like I said earlier on, it seems as if there is a demon that wants blood to be sacred, like wants human beings to be sacrificed every second. Because these bandits, I don't know what you get by taking someone's life. I don't know whether you feel joy or you feel peace when you see that you snap life out of somebody's, like, you, you take away someone's life, whether you feel joy or harmony in your heart after doing that. I don't just know. Because if it's not for the kingdom of darkness, I don't think a normal human being would love to take someone else's life, would love to kill. Because... There is nothing that shows that these things are ordinary. And this is why God keep on revealing it to us as a nation through his servants and all that. And so that we should be careful as citizens of Nigeria because it's not easy. Honestly, this battle is not easy and it's not for the weak. 
Imagine Nigeria is not Nigeria. Just imagine that this thing is happening to Beni or Togo. Would there be any surviving person in that nation? Yes, Nigeria, the population of Nigeria is massive. But the way people are dying day by day, it's no longer nice. It's no longer nice. Because I just don't know what is happening in our nation. Like, we know that our politicians are so corrupt. Could they be the one doing this? Because this one will come and say, I stand for this, I stand for that. I want, like, all those things. I don't just get it. But what can we say? Rather than to go on our knees and pray to God that let your will be carried out. This change, we really want this change to take place as fast as possible. Because a lot of people are just losing their life as the clock tick. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't speak well of us as a nation, as the giant of Africa we call ourselves. Because, like, it's just one problem to another, one problem to another as the clock ticks in Nigeria. So God has revealed to his servant, and I believe that we should go down in prayer to pray to God so that his will should be carried out in our nation, so that peace will be, peace will be in Nigeria because it's no longer nice. It's like as the day goes on, we are facing different things. And nothing that gets me like the way people are losing their life. People that could live from one community to another in peace, they can't even do that. They are running to the city to seek refuge and why the city is not also safe. So it's like there is nowhere in Nigeria that is safe for its citizens to, to, to be. So what can we do? I just pray that the will of God is being carried out. Since these things are being revealed to all those prophecies, to all those prophets, may his will be carried out. May our prayers be answered. I always pray that God hear the cry of his children. So guys, I just want to know your thoughts at the comment section. After hearing what the man of God has said, what God has revealed to him concerning the nation of Nigeria, I want to hear your opinion, your thoughts at the comment section below. I want us to like, I want you to pour out your heart to tell me how you feel after hearing what the man of God has said. And please, if you have not subscribed to Part Rima channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And don't forget to turn on the post notification to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you. Thank you for being part of this lovely family. And thank you for watching our video each time we drop a new video. You're blessed. So guys, I want to say, let's keep nigeria in our day-to-day -day prayer let's not give up there is see anything that is great devil will always fight against it i believe that nigeria will be a place of harmony in the nearest time to come because the devil cannot just fight if this nation does not carry something they cannot just be fighting us the way they are doing thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next one you're blessed 